Okay guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp in here. Got a neat little review for you. Um, this is a peanut lighter. Now, this is a very, very cool concept. Um, I really like it and I think you will too. And I'll tell you why. Um, first off, this is chrome lined copper casing that this is in. Um, but the neat part, or the, the best part about it, you see it has a little o-ring here means it's waterproof which also is going to mean that it's airtight and this I think is really cool because this is the kind of lighter that would be perfect for a survival kit bug out bag anything like that because you can fill it up close it up and basically forget about it and not have to worry about your fuel evaporating out of it um, simply because you know, once it's watertight and airtight, it's not going to evaporate. So that is, to me, a really, really valuable thing to have. Um, I know a lot of people like to take Zippos in the outdoors. I think Bic is becoming a bigger trend because people have realized that with Zippos, the fuel evaporates out of them pretty quick. Um, I know I used to carry them all the time, and I didn't like them because I always found out that I was always filling them up. But with something like this, yeah, it's pretty small, but... You know, if you're in a bug out situation or a survival situation, this is going to start plenty of fires for you with no worries. Um, and then screw it. Now, I just got this a couple days ago, so I haven't like really fully broken it in yet. But just give it a few. Sometimes it takes a few. There we go. So, as you can see, pretty decent sized flame. Um, which will be good because you can take this, which is, I will, brings me to a point of the thing that I really don't like the most about it. But it has a rounded bottom. So you can't really just sit it on the ground or on the table and have it work for you. But if you're outside, you can just kind of, you know, push this down into the dirt a little bit. And then you can start laying tender materials over it um, and start your little fire that way. And then, of course, move it or you know, take this out of the way and start a larger fire with it. Um, so, or if you have some other kind of fire starting material, you know, like trioxine or wet tinder or wet fire, um, or even just some fat wood, something like that, you can use this to get it started and you always know that it's going to be ready to go because it's air and water tight. So the fuel isn't going to evaporate. Now, this is what I bought to use costs like two bucks and as you can see the difference in the two you know this is eight ounces of the fluid I can't remember right off the bat how much this holds but obviously this thing is gonna last a really long time filling up this little bitty guy um, so you know and to hit it home even further I got this on Amazon for three dollars so you can't beat that in any way shape or form basically a lighting source forever for this was two dollars this three is for five bucks right your average zippo costs 20 and then of course you got to buy the fuel and this you're going to buy a lot of fuel for it because you know for for zippo you're going to be buying a lot of this fuel because the zippos run out so quickly um you know the advantage with a zippo is that it is a little more windproof but you know for the cost and the reliability knowing that i'm going to have fuel you know when i take this and open it up it's going to work and it's going to have the fuel in it I mean you just can't go wrong I mean five dollars for the lighter the fuel and satisfaction and peace of mind of knowing that this little lighter is going to light for you whenever you need it um, you know as it's got a little split ring here so you could take this off and add it to a keychain you can leave this on and clip it in something in a bug out bag or a EDC bag anything like that so you know, I just don't know how else to explain it other than I may get some more of these and then just completely throw out most of my Bic lighters. Because um, I keep Bic lighters stuffed in every bag that I own. That way I never forget a lighter anywhere I go. But, you know, those can, you know, the little trigger on them can release the fuel even when you're not realizing it. If you forgot to wrap it up or something like that. And sometimes at different altitudes, Bic lighters or butane lighters sometimes may not work. But this kind is always going to work. 
So, peanut lighters, it's kind of new wave. There is a one that is slightly larger out now. They have a stainless steel version that's a little bit bigger, and it has a flat bottom. So I may try to find one of those, um, or I may just buy some more of these. I haven't really decided yet. I might, or I might even just do a mixture of the two, just because it's such a good, reliable, waterproof, last forever, fill it and forget it kind of source. I mean, how much more can you ask for out of a piece of survival equipment, you know, especially with a fire starting device? Because, I mean, I keep magnesium rods, ferro rods, all that kind of stuff. But a lighter is way easier to start a fire every time in any situation than using a magnesium or a ferro rod. You know, these are just, it's instant fire. You just apply it to something else. So, um, all right. Well, just, I know these are starting to become pretty popular. So I wanted to get one so I could try it and show you. So hopefully this will encourage you to go out and buy some yourself. Buy a handful of them, buy one, it doesn't matter. It's going to be something good to have. All right, hope this helps. And in the meantime, be prepared and have fun.